Hello mate. Today we have a beautiful, beautiful story about coming from nothing. So I'm going to start off with what I know. So my grandparents, both of them have created a large family. My dad's side of the family, his mom, she only went to the third grade level of education. She was basically forced to work because her family was so poor. I've been to their house once and it's literally like an adobe building made out of clay. They struggled for where we're at today. <laughs> okay. Um, and it's just like, wow. Like, wow, like all of their life, it came all the way to me right now. My, gran my grandma lived her life. She had my dad, and my dad was living his life. He thought he was going to be a professional football player, soccer player, but that wasn't in his cards for him. So he took the route that everybody else takes. He went to work. He was working like three jobs. Then I come along. Him and my mom have me, their firstborn. Now, I was born in California. And once I was born, my dad had three jobs, he would tell me because it was really hard for him to keep up with the bills. And as you know, the garage that I was just living in, my parents started to raise me in that same garage. I also lived in Mexico. We went to Mexico. We lived there for like a year. We came back to California and then we came all the way to Baltimore, Maryland for the first time. I was in the first grade and we move across country, leaving all of our family, leaving all the things we know. Even me, as a little kid, I left all of the little friends I had. I remember a couple friends that I had. Name was Diego and Jose. And I left all my friends, and I came out here. Essex, Maryland. It's just like, fuck, it's just like, so much different, it's so much different than where we are right now, and fuck, it just feels so weird being here, and it's like, wow, we've come a long way.
Stop number two. Uh, this place is called Dundalk, Maryland. Um, yeah, man, if you know, you know. So this, for me, was a very important transitioning period in my life. You know, my parents were trying to upgrade their lives, and so they came out here. This is a gated community. They're trying to better their, our lives and their lives. And uh, so, yeah, man, we came out here, and I started going to a new middle school, and I started meeting friends from soccer, and I started started being outgoing, more social, and I started hustling at, at soccer. Soccer was all I knew, man. Soccer was everything for me. And I started facing these kids that went to the same middle school, and we beat them. And uh, the kids I would play soccer with, there were there were rich white kids, rich white kids that all went to private schools, and I'm not I'm not even joking, but I lived here in Dundalk and in Essex, and you know sometimes as a little kid that shit that shit would bother me, man. That shit would bother me deep down inside. That shit would bother me, bro. I didn't know no better. I was just a kid. I was like, they must be better than me. I was like, they must be better than me. But I was younger. I didn't know better. I was like, shit, man. They got more money than me. They got nicer cleats than me. They got they got nicer training clothes than me. I was like, fuck, bro. And meanwhile, I I used to live in a garage. I used to live in in Essex. Now I'm living in Dundalk. All these kids, these rich, rich kids, they weren't all white. I'm not racist, okay? They weren't all white, but they all, they all would go to a nice school, nice neighborhood, nice private school. I'm like, damn, man. So I automatically counted myself out. I automatically counted myself out. But this is where I found out where grind was. This right here, this place right here, the grind of everyday life, going to school with people that are always cracking jokes on you, learning how to stand up for yourself, making the best out of your situation. I learned the everyday grind of hustle, grind, hustle, grind, hustle, grind, and repeat for years after years. And you know, I got a little wild here too. You know, there's goods with bads, and the bad things about these places is that if you hang out with the wrong crowd, if you hang out with the wrong crowd, you might end up going down the wrong path. And you know, I started to. I was drinking, I was smoking, roaming the streets, just roaming the streets because we had nothing else better to do. But I said, but I, I went. Something in life went, and I got back on track. I got back on track, man. I got back on track. I got back on track. And I started really focusing on what life is really all about. I started really focusing on what life is really all about. I started to get back on track, back focused.
Okay. Key landing apartments. This is where I was at. Uh, this is where I was at. The key landing apartments. Uh, in a not so good neighborhood. But it, that's alright. I found my peace and my joy in the not so good. I think in every situation, there's a good. There's a good to everything. There's a good in everything. And right here, this place, these apartments, this pier was that for me. It was a piece of tranquility. It was a piece of peace in a chaotic environment. I just found peace here. All around me. All around me. And I think that's something we gotta remember. That no matter where you're at, no matter what situation you're in, you always have to find the joy of it. Because this, just the joy of being alive should get that motor running. It should get that motor running, you know? Okay, let's go to the last and final stop. Come on. So now we're back to where I live at right now. And you know, my parents definitely upgraded. My parents, I'm so proud of them. They definitely have upgraded. You know, now we live in a nice, calm environment. And I'm so thankful for that. But you see, me, me personally, I've been dragged along through all of it, all of my parents' success. You know, I've been dragged along through all of their success. But I haven't done shit. I haven't done shit yet. I haven't done shit. All I've done is learned from the bottom all the way to the top. Not all the way to the top, but you know what the fuck I mean. Yeah, that's right. We're going to get the fucking cussing, baby. Because I want to light up a fire inside of me. I want to light up a fire inside of me. And, f and fucking, a fucking fire inside of all of the people that are like me. So, all my life, I've had no hope. No fucking hope, dude. No hope at all. Not one bit, not one sliver. Not... One bit or one sliver has ever told me that I'm going to make it in anything. But I don't care. But I don't care. I'm ready to take it all, boy. Look, I've come from the bottom. I know what it feels like to not get much on Christmas. I know what it feels like to not get that much. That I know what it feels like to hide your phone because you had a Nokia and all of your friends had an iPhone. I know what it feels like to have the the not so good cleats, but everyone has the good ass cleats. I know what it feels like being left out, being left out, and you don't really have a a side to choose from. Coming from the bottom, when you come from the bottom. 
I think that there should be a fucking fire inside of you because you know what there is out there. You know what the fuck there is out there. You know what there is. When you come from the bottom, you should be a little bit more hungry. You should be a little bit more hungry because you're a lone wolf. You're a lone wolf that's being starved. You're being starved, okay? Think of it like that. You are being starved. Now what the fuck are you gonna do about it? Now what the fuck are you gonna... Now what the fuck are you gonna do about it? Are you gonna just sit around? and act like everything is okay? Like your parents haven't struggled and sacrificed everything they have done for you?